another point of your house that you can kind of step back and look at as a buyer is your roof making sure that when you see your roof that um, you can kind of tell how if, if the shingles are damaged or if you see anything lifting this is just for those that you know not going to get on the roof I'm pretty sure as a buyer you're not going to get on the roof and look some may but some things are obvious from the ground your roof structure you can see if there's any waves in it or anything like that to be uh, that are of concern at that point bring it up to your your inspector four eyes are better than two all right we're on the roof um i've already detected as i was getting on a few areas of soft underlayment as you can see the tar here's where it's soft as soon as you get up here soft spot um so the road roof area is going to need to be replaced you see that ceiling All that siding is filling under here but the flashings are good but the problem with this area of the roof is this underlayment is soft it's areas where when you step on it you feel like you're going to fall through now it's not like a soft to where um you know if you push it with your hand it's going to cave in not like that but under a little pressure you can tell that um it's not as sound as it need to be and just really those two areas on the flat part of the roof um this main roof which we have architectural shingles is actually in good shape All right, so a quick run around the house. You have to change out this T111, of course. All that is ate up by decay on your fascia boards and your um, soffits. So, so far, that's your areas of decay. Here also, the left corner uh, soffits will need to be replaced. Here as well, in your soffit area. That front porch post is leaning, well, it's failing. Now we can roll, in, roll on into the inside so I can show you the things that you can look at from there. Okay, so we are doing a quick walkthrough of the property. I see a um, settlement crack here that has been repaired, but um, it's not alarming because there's none coming down the walls. There are no other signs of there being a structural issue. Plumbing, we have our A.O. Smith water heater. As you can see, it's cloth wiring going to it. There's no TPR piping. And we have a 09, 2009. So we're sitting at about 13 years on the water heater. Um, as we move through, go to our kitchen plumbing. See, no leaks. Ah. 
No leaks, no damage to the um, to the cabinet in the back, but a little repairs to fix that. See? Toilet moves off the base in the guest bathroom. So the toilet needs to be remounted, wax sealed, slow drain in the kitchen, in the bathroom when the bathtub water is running, it affects the sink water pressure. I believe the only thing wrong with this is it needs to be cooled up. All right, the aerator. All right, so here, our shower walls and grout need to be regrouted. This is all the new bathroom. And there are no GFCI outlets. There's no ventilation as well. Shower water pressure is strong. I turn it off. All right, so we got to line the faucet up perfectly for it to shut off. Um, so you'll need a new faucet. Still not draining. Draining slowly. Gurgling. Um, none of the windows were checked. They are covered in burglar bars, but all the light fixtures are working. There are no alarming cracks or anything around. All right. That's wrong. Nothing alarming as far as settlement cracks, no large cracks in the floor or anything. Same as here. Nothing alarming. HVAC compressor Goodman. Going to need a new foam around the coolant lines. So we're back at the HVAC, um, five years old Goodman. We are going to be doing a differential inspection on it to make sure that the degrees are proper between the supply and demand air, 14 to 22 degrees. And then we have electrical panel in the utility room. All right, so the electrical panel has been updated. There is no um, permit for it, and we have cloth sheathing here on one of your um, electrical wires. There's two. Definitely need to be corrected there. All right, we're up in the attic space and it does need some updating on the insulation. Good afternoon. I'm here with Danny. He's my number one home inspector. I know there's other inspectors, but Danny's the guy I use. So if you need anybody, if you need a home inspection or even um, when you're about to sell your house, if you need someone, talk to Danny. Well, talk to me first and then talk to Danny. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? I'm here for any questions that you have pertaining to your home inspection. If you want, give me a call at 904-219-8842, hillswithhomeinspections.com and hillswithhomeinspections at gmail.com. I appreciate you, Danny. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.